guys and welcome back to my channel Pavel again today we are going to do a lab for configuring smart dashboard to the interface with the active directory so we'll be integrating checkpoint firewall with the active directory so right now uh, i have a windows server but there is nothing configured so let's go ahead and configure uh, ad first this command called dc promo and when you run that command the active directory configuration begins uh, this lab uh, uh, will be time consuming uh, it takes uh, you know variety of the steps so please be tuned so let's use the advanced mode for the installation and let's go ahead Create a new domain. So this is my domain for firewallgan.com. So guys, if you have not subscribed my channel, please go ahead and subscribe my channel because, uh, you know, I mean, in a week I'll, I'll be putting a lot of uh, uh, videos uh, Let's see if I will can next So forest level, let's select Windows 2008 So I was saying, uh, like, uh, within a week, I usually, you know, provide too many videos on a checkpoint firewalls. Not too many, but at least three, four videos on checkpoint firewall, and those videos are more in depth uh, look for the checkpoint firewall. So try to subscribe my channel and press a bell icon so whatever the latest the upload video will come to you as soon as I upload them. Select the addition option for this domain controller DNS server. Do we want it as a DNS server? Uh, for now, we don't want. Let's click next. You have chosen not to install DNS server on this domain controller, but your existing environment does not provide DNS server support for this domain name. DNS support required for directory directory to function properly. Do you want to continue installation of the service? Let's go ahead and select the DNS server. And then, yes, the computer will dynamically assign the IP address, not recommended. No, I will assign static IP address to all the physical interface. That is fine. Next. <coughs> Delegation for the DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found or it does not run the Windows DNS server. Would you want to continue? That is fine. Let's give it a password here. <coughs> Let's reboot it once it's got complete. <coughs> Maybe it's okay. The wizard is 
configuring active directory domain services this process take from a few minutes to several hours on your environment and depending on your environment and the options that you selected okay Okay, it's finished. Completing the Active Directory Domain Service Installation Wizard. Let's restart. <coughs> so the domain control things come in us. I mean, come in. And we can log in from there. <coughs> So applying setting is kind of time consuming, but once it's done, uh, then we have, will be having the AD in place. Okay, the setting got applied. Let me jump inside <clears throat> so now we are using the password which we have created okay so it took the earlier password which was i was having this is the domain name was there now we need to find the uh, cn name and for that uh, let's go to the command line Now let's run the command ds query user name 
administrator. So uh, we need to note down this string. This is important. Let me see if I am able, I'm able to catch this. Or we'll take a screenshot of it. Let's better take a screenshot of it. And we'll be using the same uh, during the checkpoint uh, dashboard configuration. So for now, we are good from the uh, AD perspective. Now let's go to the smart dashboard and let's see what we can deliver from there. I'm just logging to the smart dashboard. Uh, let me give it a username and password. Okay. So let's do these steps first. Let's go to the global properties. And here we have user directory. And let's, so it's already got enabled, enable the password change and everything. So here, if you like, you can select the password requirements or whatsoever you want. <coughs> For now, it's okay. Now we are going to create one object uh, having the AD details in place. So for that, I just want the IP address of my AD. So we will have in the object for that. If I go to the CLI. IP config. It's kind of slow. So it's 1.20. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and create a uh, one host. <coughs> uh, give it the name AD. 192, 168, 1.20 is the IP address. If I'm not putting the wrong details here, it's a 1.20. Give it IP 192, 168, 1.20. And if you like, you can give it a command AD server. Okay. 
click OK. Multiple object have the same name, uh, which is fine for now. Uh, let's delete the older one. Uh, 192. Yeah, this guy. So to use in a policy report. Number four and here. Let's remove it from there for now. And okay, just add the new one. Ad is that all right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> next step is uh, we need to create a uh, and a choose. I mean, we need to have the server and OPSEC application, and over there we need to define uh, all these details. Uh, for that, uh, if you see here, new, come here, see more, and you should see something like server and OPSEC. New object, more. Logical VPNs, domains, logical servers. Group. User check. Okay, that is fine. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see if we can get this is the server trusted CA. Here we can see one CA. Let me try to edit this. <coughs> yeah, this is the internal CA what we have. I think this will survive the purpose. Like we have one internal CA here. Let me change the color. Uh, now let's go to the new. Network object. More. user identity <laughs> so now the details are present in user identity uh, here you have to select LDAP account unit and here you have to provide the details for your uh, LDAP account so I am giving like active directory account unit. Let's change the color to orange. As we have the Microsoft AD, that's why I have given the name Microsoft AD. And domain name, the one we have configured, firewall GAN. Dot com. Uh, let's select these three options. Uh, let's talk on this later. Let's go to the server. Uh, server properties. So let's say add the server. This one is the AD. Uh, the port is 389, we know, all know, let's give it a username as administrator, 
make sure you will provide the correct details here because if you miss anything here or do the misspelling also uh, it will not work so this is sensitive administrator and remember uh, we capture this screenshot so this cn administrator these details we need to put there on the login dn so let me copy paste and let me write it down better so it's cn equal to administrator uh comma cn equals to users comma dc equals to firewall gan and comma dc equal to com i hope i have done any spelling mistakes let's cross check it c one equal to administrator <laughs> cn equal to users dc equal to firewall gan dc equal to com okay and remember you have given some username and password while creating this uh uh dn so i'm just putting that username and password in, i mean i'm just putting the password here let's have default priority one and read data from this server and write data to the server and click ok uh, now let's go to the object management and hope and click this branches so hope the data will retrieve okay the server is got connected to your firewall this is the proof uh, so this is something for the uh, secure communication coverage if authentication failed establish a clear communication like that things prompt for the password opening this account and authentication so use common group path queries all our authentication schemas all of these schemas is okay and encryption so if your AD server is not set up for encryption then you don't have to select this uh, this path right we don't have the AD uh, configuration selected for the encryption that's why we are not selecting this now click OK uh, I think that's it uh, for the configuration part. And now let's try to install the policy and install the database. For the database installation, come here, install the database. And try to install the policy as well. Let's see. That is fine. Okay. So my gateways are not enabled yet. That is fine. I will going to install the policy. Meanwhile, I wanted to check where I can see this. Uh, 
Lab options. Uh, R81.10, a lot of options got, you know, moved here and there. So, just bear with me. I just wanted to find the option where we can see the user details. Uh, for now, we just have to install the policy. Uh, nothing much here. But I want to spend some time for that uh, details um, okay let's uh, go ahead and install the policy first let's I wanted to start my gateways Let it get started. Meanwhile, I'll just search the details. So, if I want to see active directory AU, let me copy this. Check Explorer. Let me search here. Okay, this one. If we have everything in place. So let's quickly install the policy. So uh, policy got installed successfully and I think uh, we are good with the uh, the configuration. I'm wondering uh, where I can see the options where user and administrators got configured. Uh, let's try to search a bit. Uh, let's 
users and administrators access roles and user groups so it's just uh, giving me like from where we are configured all these things but I want to view that Users and identity, identity tags, user groups. So it just create asking me for the creating the thing. User identities and that account unit. We have already this thing in place. Which is good. So, alright, guys, uh, this is it for this video. We have integrated our um, checkpoint firewall smart dashboard to the AD. Uh, this is a part one video, part two video. I'll be sharing uh, more details on this. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I have